All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So a couple of days ago, I've been talking about this craft that someone filmed over in Texas uh, in August of 2024. So after trying to figure out what's going on with this, a user told me that this plane is possibly a TR-6. And I did some research, not too much, but I did find a site that talks about this TR-6. And here's going to be the site here. So I'll leave a link in the description for it, but you can research TR-6 or TR-6 and find out more about it. So it's a low observability reconnaissance aircraft. I mean, say that 10 times without stuttering. So the site's got a lot of ads and stuff on it, but look at this right here. This is the craft and apparently is designed by Northern Gundam. And I'm just mind blown by especially this one picture here. This looks exactly like what we've been seeing flying around. It makes me kind of skeptical of how long something like this has been flying. Now, this is kind of some theories that this guy put on this website, but it makes more sense once you start looking. And like I said, I'll leave a link below in the description so you guys can check this site out. Now, this thing is apparently um, is an electrographic low observatory surveillance platform. I mean, I'm just trying to sell this, go through this quick, but it's pretty interesting once you start looking at some of this information. It's kind of hard to read, even though I'm trying to expand stuff here, but the wings on this thing fold in and then comparing the size of it to a B-2 stealth bomber. Look at that right there. This thing is huge. So it, it would be hard to hide this in the night sky if this thing was flying around. And you guys see this and I know they're just doing a comparison here with this, but this is very, very interesting. And they even talk about in this article with this picture here. And I've heard about this before, how craft can reflect light from the other side from, let's say it's flying in the air and it's going to reflect the sky on the underside of the craft. So it looks almost invisible. And that's kind of what they're trying to portray here and show this. And this article talks about this, too. And I just found this to be very interesting out. Now, if you start searching on this TR-6, you'll start finding a lot more information on. This is something that I wasn't aware of. And I've mentioned before, guys, that I can't do this alone and none of us can actually do this alone. It takes us to do this as a group and as a team. So I do appreciate people look at the videos and they comment and then I'm able to find stuff like this. I mean, this just blows my mind. It actually has some information where it talks about the Phoenix lights and stuff. And here's where they're showing... Uh, now, of course, these are computer renderings and stuff like that. But this person seems to have extensive knowledge of this craft and they're showing what it would be if it was flying at night. And it is somewhat trying to blend in or invisible with the sky. And it makes me wonder how long something like this has been out here. Um, we always talk about the Aurora and all that. And, you know, that stuff is probably out. Or we just probably can't find out what it is. But it talks about you guys see the flight procedures when you're in the air you can pitch up and down like any other aircraft to turn either roll or yawn or whatever, the combination of the two, depending on how hard you want to turn. So it's just interesting um, about this. And I don't want to say too much because I haven't really read this whole article, but I wanted to talk to you guys and show this to you guys so you can go look and do some research on yourself and come back to this video if you can and put down some more information. I mean, look at this. It says the wingspan is 519 feet. That is huge. And you guys saw earlier the picture of that craft it compared to, to the B-2 bomber. So this thing is huge. And that explains what they filmed over there in Texas. So he's got a pretty good breakdown of stuff. And of course, it's going to be showing me ads from stuff that I look at, like RC cars and stuff. And then it's some comments down here, too, um, which is pretty interesting. But there's a lot more articles on this out here. But I wanted to show this to you guys. And at some point in time, I'm going to do a whole breakdown of this once I try to educate myself more. But I just thought that this kind of just made me just go, wow, OK, this thing is out here and it's probably been out for a while. And they even talk about somewhere in here was with the Phoenix Lights. So if this happened in the Phoenix Lights, that was in what, the 90s that that transpired. So something like this has been out there for a long time. And if this is what was filmed and he was able to film it with the night vision goggles, then, of course, we know our military, we all know this, that watch this channel. They've got some tech out here that they're not exposed to the public, which is fine. But we do have people like this that are talking about it. But the foldable wings and then this size right here, it all starts to make sense and add up. Now, if we can just get some government uh, whistleblowers to talk about this a little bit more, that would be great. 
And this just adds to the speculation of everything that's going out here and everything that people are talking about with this. But anyway, I wanted to show this to you guys. I'm not going to try to drag this off and make this a long video. But put your comments down below what you think about this because this right here, like I said, it really is blowing my mind to see this and know that this is like this. And like I said, this could be some disinformation that somebody put out there. I don't know. But I know the user that brought this to my attention seemed to be pretty legit. I'm not discrediting that person at all. So don't please don't think that. But I just think that this is interesting that this is out here and that we have this design. So anyway, guys, put your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with your friends. I'll probably do a full blown video once I find out some more information about this. When the craft was created, try to backtrack to some of the original designs and even try to find some patent pennies on if I can find that. So anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.